That breaking news now from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. We told you at 5 o'clock that a recruit was rushed to the hospital in cardiac arrest. And we're hoping to get an update from police. In fact, we're just moments away. Good evening. Let's listen. I'm Ron Linvey, the Director of Investigations and Homeland Security here at JSO. That's with a very heavy heart that I share some very sad news with you tonight. Police recruit Tony Alexander Cephas passed away a short time ago after experiencing an apparent medical episode during training at the police academy located on the FSCJ North Campus. Recruit Cephas was 43 years old and is survived by a wife and two children. Our full support and prayers are with them at this most difficult time. Cephas and his class of police recruits started at the academy 10 days ago on March the 18th. They had been exercising as a class today for a little over 15 minutes when they were given a water break. During that break, an instructor noticed that recruit Cephas looked to be in discomfort. And after checking with Cephas, the instructor called over paramedics who were staged at the academy for the training session. After examining Cephas, the paramedics determined that he should be transported to the hospital. His condition deteriorated as he was transported to Baptist North, where he ultimately passed away despite life-saving efforts by medical personnel. Recruit Cephas had a military history and had done well in his physical training since starting at the academy. At this point, his death appears to be the result of some type of medical episode. We do have homicide detectives investigating the scene and interviewing everyone present during the training today to determine what happened, but there are no signs pointing toward anything other than a medical emergency at this point in time. Homicide detectives go out anytime there's an undetermined death without a, a known cause to do a full investigation, and we certainly owe that to recruit Cephas and his family. Um, but like I said, at this point in time, nothing seems to point towards anything but a medical emergency. The detectives will also coordinate with the medical examiner's office where an autopsy will be conducted to determine the cause of death. In addition, we have an advocate working with his family and critical incident stress management counselors working with the rest of the class and instructors to help them through this difficult time. We would appreciate prayers for recruit Cephas and his family from anyone who feels moved to say a prayer tonight. That's all the information I have at this point of the investigation, but I'll be happy to answer whatever clarifying questions I can for you that you might have. Director, we are told that he was in the middle of a fairly intensive uh, exercise session or, or fitness session at that time uh, or prior to that break. Can you confirm that sort of like a drill sergeant? Uh, somebody actually phrased it to us as a make or break. Uh, well, yeah, I can't really comment to the make or break nature of it, but, you know, police work, much like military work, requires physical ability. And part of that training as you go through the academy is physical training, something that every police officer has been through and has to go through and helps to kind of sharpen them to be ready to do what they need to do on the street. So they were engaged in that. They'd been doing that for a little over 15 minutes. Um, and all that stuff is, is done with safety in mind. You know, a water break was given. As I mentioned earlier, they had paramedics on scene just in case there's any medical episodes. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, sometimes even with help being staged there, um, some medical episodes, there's just no recovery from even with, with help being there for you. So, you know, they were engaged in physical training. It's part of, unfortunately, what we have to do to prepare recruits to come out and do what they need to do on the street. And uh, it's uh, just a very sad occurrence this evening. Can you spell this last name? It's Cephas, C-E-P-H-A-S. Have you guys ever lost a recruit before? And if so, when? It's been quite some time. I mean, you know, injuries in training are not uncommon. Um, when, you, when you train physically like, like they have to do, you know, that's, that's part of it. That's why we have paramedics that are out there when they do this type of training. Um, I, don't, I don't have in front of me the time we would have lost one. I can't remember one in recent memory. Um, it's certainly nothing that we experience on, you know, commonly or anything like that. I know the fire department tragically is, has lost, you know, recruits in the past as well. And it's just, you know, it speaks to the physical nature of, uh, of the job, you know, the, the training that you have to go through to get ready for it. It does bring with it, you know, some risk. And that's why recruits go through extensive medical screening before they're even hired. But sometimes uh, those medical uh, pitfalls are, are hidden even from uh, the best of uh, doctors and their techniques. This breaking news coming from the Jacksonville Sheriff's uh, Office. Just tragic Cal news Stanton today. 43-year-old uh, police recruit Tony Alexander Cephas has been announced that um, he died. He passed away this afternoon. He just started 10 days ago with the Academy, and it appears to be a death from uh, exertion after working out with um, the, other, the other recruits. Yeah, very strong. He had a military history, um, and, and our thoughts are with his family as well. We'll be right back as the news for Jackson 530 continues.